Finance is one of the biggest hurdles for most students. Product Grey News went to Shoreham to talk to FTA Global about their new fair fees policy. Um, I've been involved in commercial aviation training now for coming up for five years and it became very clear when I joined uh, FTA at the beginning of 2020 that all of our competition, all of the other uh, flying schools were charging a large amount at the front of this training um, and, and taking almost all of the fees from a student before uh, they'd got even a quarter of the way through uh, an integrated course. And it's something we made a change shortly after I started and we reduced the size of our deposit and we extended the payment terms over the, the course of, uh, of an integrated uh, training package. Um, but as we continue to look at it and as I continue to look at the industry, it seemed to me that the risk the financial risk was being borne by students and that commercial flying schools were looking to students to effectively pay up front. They were letting the money work for the flying school, not letting the money work for themselves. And the amount of money that students were giving to flying schools didn't represent directly the training they were receiving at the time. We know of, uh, of commercial schools that will take a, a £10,000 deposit and then look for a further £20,000 uh, two weeks before a student even sets foot in the school. So, so students are starting some courses having already paid £30,000 towards that training course before they've sat down in a classroom or sat in an aircraft. And we think that's wrong. So we introduced fair fees uh, just before Christmas. Fair fees is most important because it allows a student to keep more of their money in their pocket for more of the time. I think the times that we're in at the moment are clearly a driver for some of the ways that we're making changes. Um, the UK at the moment is in a, a pretty dire situation. You know, we've seen a recession, the impact of the, the war in the Ukraine, interest rates rising. Um, people have less cash to spend, so I, I think it's been important for us to look at ways of making commercial flight training more accessible to more people uh, and the ability for them to, to spread those payments out um, and have the, 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 the most amount of money coming at the end of the course when they're most liable to, uh, to be able to apply for a job and, and to look uh, to airlines and to look ahead to the, the roles that they're going to take. Um, turning that round for a student is, is, is clearly really important for us. We hope it'll have a wider implication across the commercial aviation training business. We hope that other flying schools will look at what we're doing and make training more affordable, more approachable, more accessible for, for more students out there. So we hope that this has a long-term impact on commercial aviation training, not just for ourselves.